First is, uh, I'm going to be taking my uh, fluffy brush like this. It just looks like this, just a fluffy brush, and I'm going to be putting it in to, let's see, this color right here in the palette. Yes. And I'm going to just put this in the crease. That way we have something to help transition the shades. Helps blend it out, makes it look all seamless. I put it on my outer corner as well. I I think it's more habit than anything. It's not really I don't think it really helps or does anything, but yeah. So that's pretty much all you do with that color. Next I'm going to go in with my uh, eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go in with with this color right here it's like a uh, just a shimmery I feel like it's a shimmery skin tone I'm just going to keep building it up until I get the intensity that I want. Okay, now that I've got that over with, I'm just going to go back in with this brush into the color that we put in our crease the first time around and just get a little bit of product on it, enough to just kind of blend out the crease. So there's no harsh lines with the uh, lid color we just stuck on there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go in with just another... This one's more of a denser dome brush. It's a blending brush. But this is the one that I got from my Ipsy bag. So if you've seen that, um, there we go. That's better. Okay, turn my light off. <laughs> so if you've seen uh, my Ipsy bag unbagging uh, video, this is the brush that I got in it. And I'm going to take this brush and I am going to put it in to the black that is inside of the palette and I'm gonna focus this mainly on the just outer corner and just in just a little bit underneath the crease and so I just raise my eyebrow just a little bit that way I don't get it on top of the crease really and just kind of build the color up until I've got the intensity that I want I'm just patting the pro or the shadow on there, packing it in real good. Okay, now with that done, I'm just gonna take my blending brush again that I started with before with no additional product. I'm just going to blend out the edge. I feel like I'm leaning in my chair. <laughs> Once I've got it blend out, because you don't want no harsh lines, um, the intensity is not exactly what I want it to be, so I'm just going to take my brush again and dip it back into the black and just kind of pack some more color on there. Take it down a little bit further into the crease, that way it kind of gives you a, a pretty effect there. And I am going to get some product on this brush. This is the uh, blending brush that I used the first time around. I am going to um, put the same color that we put in the crease the first time in or on the brush and blend this out. So there's no harsh lines. And when I blend, I'm doing windshield washer, windshield washer, what? <laughs> windshield wiper <laughs> motions and I'm also taking my brush and I'm swirling it outward instead of bringing it in I'm going outward and going 
up and diagonal with it. So it kind of helps with the whole cat eye look. So, yes. Okay, so now with that done, I am going to go back in with my eyeshadow brush and pick a little bit more of, of the color we put on the lid in the palette and kind of just pack a little bit more color on there just in case we lost any um, color from the lid. And I'm just going to take my, hold on, I'm just going to take the blending brush that I, or the, uh, yeah, the blending brush that I used in the outer corner with the black and I'm just going to kind of light-handedly blend where the line is. Just kind of, that way it gives it that gradient effect. Okay, next I'm going to take my, uh, what is this, my Pro Smudge Brush. Well, this is a Pro Smudge Brush, but you can have, you can take any smudge brush and uh, just one that's kind of a little dense that way you can get more of a precise line. And I'm going to dip it into the black that we used in our outer corner. I'm just going to put this underneath the lash line on the bottom lash line. Just going to drag it along. Stay as close as you can to the lash line. But it's okay if you are a little sloppy with it. We're definitely going to blend it out. Or smoke it out, I mean. I'm only going to take this about halfway. Like if I'm looking at you straight, I'm going to take it at least halfway where the pupil is. And I am going to make sure I at least bring a little bit of the leftover product that's on the brush up so it connects and it kind of gives it this, you know, finished look. With the same brush, I'm going to wipe off the black that is on the brush. I'm going to go in with this color right here that's in the palette and um, smoke out my lower lash line with it. Get a little bit more on my brush. I'm going to bring it all the way up to the inner corner of my eye. Just like that. Now with that done, underneath the eye, I'm going to go ahead and do my brow bone. I am just going to use a flat, just a flat concealer brush is really just what I use. The Bonnie Bell uh, Blend and Glow, it just kind of looks like this right here. It's got three different, or four different shades in it. And I'm going to be using this shade right here. Uh, the lightest one that's in the, the little and I'm just going to just apply this to my brow bone right underneath my eyebrow and clean up probably a little bit. It also helps to clean up some of your product that's on your eyebrow. Like that, look how shiny that is. It's just a good frost is what it looks like. It's what it looks like. Frost. Anyway. I'm also going to, on a on a um, smaller, more dense uh, pencil brush. I think that's what this is called. Yeah, pencil brush. Back into the frost color and I'm gonna put this in the inner corner of my lid. My lid, the inner corner of my eye, just to give it a highlight and to help make it look, make it look awake. I'm going to take this up just a little bit so it connects. I'm also going to drag this underneath the first part of the inner corner underneath. So it looks like that. Okay. After that, I think it completes it for the eyeshadow. I'm going to, and this is the hard part, I'm going to go in with my gel liner. I use the... What is this called? I use the blackest black from L'Oreal Infallible. It looks like this. It's just in a little uh, container, glass container. Just there's the logo. I like this gel liner because it does not move. Once you put it on, that's it. I'm going to be drawing, or I'm going to be putting liner on the top part of my lid. 
and uh, winging it out. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with the wing. So I gotta make sure I match it up with my other eye. Some more product and just kind of drag it in. It's definitely something to practice with because I still like feel like I just don't know what I'm doing. Connect these two together. And I'm going to go in with a separate brush, more of a small little brush. This brush I think actually came with um, the infallible. And I'm just going to take and dip it into it and just kind of fill in missing spots. More or less coloring in. I feel like neither, like my eyeliner is not, I don't know, cool, but that's okay. So that's a very intense. But I am going to drag this down a little bit on my lower lash line. And, and I'm just going to go back in with my smudge brush with no additional product. And just kind of smudge it out a little bit. Just to intensi intensize, intense the outer corner. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same little brush that come with the, uh, come with the little pod of gel liner and I'm just going to put this in my upper waterline. Just like that. And I'm going to go in with uh, Rimmel's, what is this? It's uh, Rimmel London's Waterproof Eyeliner in Nude. It just looks like, well, I need to sharpen it, but it just, it's this color right here. It's just to go on my lower lash line and uh, kind of brighten up your eye. Just like that. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and do mascara for my eyelashes. Okay, and next I'm going to yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put mascara on like I did before. I'm just going to be using the Smashbox. What is this? A uh, full lash mascara again, like I did in my last video. Let's see what else. I can't do this. Stay in front. Okay, 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lashes in the same mascara too. I really like this mascara. Okay, I'm going to put one more coat on, like. Okay, so there's that. So that's pretty much, um, at this point you could put lashes on if you wanted to. I don't, let's face it, I cannot put lashes on. But I feel like my lashes are long enough to the point where I just don't really feel the need to put any on. But then again, I always would just glam up the look really more or less. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out and put my face on and come back with you in just a moment. That's pretty much it. Um, so yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on just a, I want to say semi-smoky because it's smoky, but it's not like super intense. I kind of wanted the eyeliner to really show. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on a nights out uh, all drugstore makeup tutorial. I enjoyed every bit of it. Even my blush, bronzer, highlight, lipstick, everything was completely drugstore. Um, the only things that weren't drugstore is my foundation, my concealer, and my eyebrow products. But I'll have everything linked down in the down bar for you guys to check out if you are interested in any of the products that I used. Um, oh, and the mascara. The mascara is not a drugstore. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below if you want to. Uh, any suggestions, requests that I, you'd like to see me do, or just anything. It doesn't even matter. I'll write back. But yeah, and don't forget to subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet. I that way you can that way you're notified on when I put, post a video. So yeah. But, uh, also, if you want to go check me out on Facebook or Instagram, I have links down below. But, yeah, all of the, uh, all the stuff that I used in the video will be in the down bar, including the brushes, if you're interested in what brushes and sponges or whatever I used. Also, um, if you're interested in what's in my nails, um, it's going to be in the down bar as well. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys real soon in another one. Bye.